today's video is about releasing tension in your neck, shoulders, and upper back. Let's get started. Start in a comfortable seated position and settling in, maybe a nice sway side to side, forward and back. Getting extra comfy here. And start to notice how your body feels. Maybe moving your neck side to side. Nice and gentle. Rolling your shoulders to the back a couple of times here. Coming all the way to the front. And some gentle rotations of your neck on one way. Easy go to the other side. Going nice and slow. No rush here. Nowhere to go. And when you're ready, big and half float your hands up high. Bring your palms together and your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. Settling in. Big and half through your nose. And long and exhale out your mouth. Two more times. Big and half. And long and exhale. One more time, big inhale. And long and exhale. Gently relaxing your hands. Leaning towards your right side on your palms or forearms. Inhale to lift. And easy exhale, settling on the side, staying soft on your elbow. Let your inhales gently lift and open you up. And in the exhale, settling here. Nice and easy. Letting your breath carry you all. And leaning your shoulder towards the back. Nice shoulder stretch. And we'll come all the way up to the middle. We'll twist to the opposite side here. Inhale to lengthen. And twisting towards the back. Nice and easy. See how that feels. Maybe bringing your chin close to your shoulder. That feels good. If that's too much. That's okay. <laughs> you don't have to turn all the way. And bringing your hand behind to the opposite knee. And drop your head and neck for an easy roll here. And rounding all the way up, leaning all the way towards your left, big and how to lift and open up. And easy drop into the side here. Nice, easy stretch. Letting your inhales and exhales carry you along. Leaning your shoulders towards the back. Another stretch right here. See how that feels. And coming all the way up to the middle, twist towards the opposite side here. Nice lengthening and twisting a little bit more. Bring your back hand to the opposite knee in front of you and drop your head and neck for another easy roll here. And rounding all the way up, walking your hands behind you one step at a time, leaning towards the back, lifting your chest up high, relaxing your head and neck. If you want to stretch your hips as well, lifting up high. See how that feels. Coming all the way to the middle, we'll crawl in front of us one step at a time. You can come all the way down to your elbows, stay up on your palms, any variation that feels good. Maybe leaning to one side. And let your head and neck relax here. Letting your inhales and exhales do all the work. And then slowly rounding all the way up. We'll meet on our hands and knees. No rush here. Finding a comfortable stance that you can roll around, lean side to side or forward and back. 
This is a really good spot to reset and check into how your body feels. Sometimes when we start to move slowly, that's when we notice if any spot of us need any extra tension. Attention. It needs any extra attention. So let's say it feels good to kind of hold here for a couple of breaths. You bet. Follow that pull. Your body wants to go forward a little bit. See how that feels. Really pay attention. Your body's gonna guide you to what feels good. Facing your fingertips towards your knees. Maybe one hand at a time or both hands if that feels good. And just leaning side to side. A little bit forward and back. See how that feels for your palms and wrists. Going nice and slow here, no rush. And whenever you're ready, face your fingertips towards the front of the mat. Gentle cat cows from here. Inhale, tuck your chin, ground your back. And easy, so drop your belly, face your chin upwards. Two more times, big inhale. And easy, exhale. One more time here. Inhale, tuck your chin. And exhale, drop your belly, face your chin upwards. Good. And we'll slowly round all the way up to sitting on your heels. If that's comfortable, if you want to bring your toes to the mat and sit higher up, any version that feels comfortable for you, or if you want to lean into one side, see how that feels. Let me show you what your hands are going to do from here. Big and help float your hands up high. Easy, so drop your left hand behind you. Catch a hold of it with your right hand if that feels good. If that's too much, you can always grab onto your shirt for a nice kind of release or rest it to the side. Just see how that feels. Big and help to lift your right shoulder, your elbow further up. See how that feels. Nice and easy stretch. And simply letting your inhales and exhales flow through you. And if you want to draw a circle with your elbows, see how that feels rounding in front of you. Coming all the way up, switching sides here. Big and help float both hands up high. And easy exhale, dropping your right hand behind you, catching a hold of it with the left hand. Or grabbing onto your shirt if that feels good. Or just let it rest here. Any version that feels good for you. Big how to point your elbow further up. And easy settling in here. Couple of breaths. And if you also want to try drawing a circle on this side, see how that feels going around nice and easy and coming all the way up and gently releasing your fingertips. Crawling all the way out on all fours here. Settling in, maybe moving side to side, forward and back. Finding some nice rolls that you can do from one side to another or forward and back. This time we're gonna lean towards the right side and thread our left hand under it to bring our shoulder close to the mat. Nice shoulder and upper back release. See how that feels. If you want to bring your left shoulder closer to the mat, maybe press it down. See how that feels. Maybe an easy twist looking upwards. See what your body needs right now. And slowly coming up to the middle. Same on the other side, threading your opposite hand under your left one. And bring your shoulder close to your mat. If your hand is floating, if your head is floating, that's perfectly fine. Find a way for this to work in your body and making sure it's comfortable and feels good for you. And coming all the way up to the middle, sink your hips into a child pose. See how that feels for your head. 
your shoulders, your arms. You want to try another version of this. You can crawl a little bit forward and just sink your hips back. Maybe it's not sitting all the way, but if that feels like a nice release for your upper back and shoulders, let it feel. Whenever you have enough of this one, crawl a little bit forward as you sink your hips into a nice up dog here. Maybe a nice sway side to side to settle in. You want to bend your knees and bring them higher up. See how that feels. Playing around here. Maybe rolling side to side if that feels good. If that's too much for your lower back, you can always come towards the middle here, stretching your mid back or all the way down, stretching your upper back. Anything that feels good. And letting your inhales and exhales roll through you. When you're ready, bring your shoulder blades together, lift your chest up high, and easy exhale, settle. And slowly coming all the way through the middle. Maybe a nice sway, coming all the way to the bottom. Interlace your fingertips behind you, big and how to arch your back up. See how that feels. Gentle sway to get into those spots. And lingering any spot you want to linger in. No rush. If you also want to Bend your knees, grab a hold of your feet here. That might be fun. Big and hard to arch up. And knees, exhale, coming all the way down. Two more times. Big and hard. And easy exhale. One more time. Big and hard. And exhale, coming all the way down. And gently releasing your foot. Planting your palms outside your chest and lift your hips up and back into a sitting position. Any form of sitting that feels good. Whenever you're ready, big and help float your hands up high. Bring your palms together and your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. Settling in. Big and help through your nose. Long exhale out your mouth. Two more times, big inhale, and long exhale. One more time, big inhale, and easy exhale. And do another body scan. Notice how your body feels right now. Any spots that there's any extra tension Please soften a little bit more. And whenever you're ready, open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Hi, before you go, I wanted to leave you with some exercises you can do throughout the day to help you reset and relax your shoulders and neck a little bit more. So one of those is obviously Tilting your head from one way to another. And focusing on your breathing as you do that. Slowly moving towards the back. Going to the other side. Coming through the middle. setting in the middle. Another thing you can do is just gentle movements, looking from one side. You can do this five times, ten times, twenty times, as many as you want, and just bring your chin close to your shoulder. And you might start off a little bit tight, and that's when you notice how stiff you're feeling. That's okay. And just slowly do this nice and easy, and toward the end, you might notice a little bit range of motion. That's coming back. So same on the other side here. Bring your chin close to your shoulder. Do it for a couple of times. Nice 
nice and slow. Focusing on your breathing. Do it a couple of times a day just to get more movement into you know, your upper back and moving your shoulders all the way towards the back. Or coming all the way forward. And yeah, a couple of moves you can do throughout the day to feel even better and release the tension and get more mobility.